out of my dreams Pretty eyes so wise and pristine I couldn't ask for more than the day you came to my door Open eyes cause I couldn't believe That you were right in front of me Feeling pushed right through my heart Fireworks lit right from the start Got me on cloud nine Good afternoon everyone. It is time to do another RV video. We're going to be making some changes to the old girl back here getting it ready for full-time RVing. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell to get notified of new videos when they become available. In a previous video, I showed you guys uh, the unboxing of a Unawix Defender X100 lithium iron phosphate battery. Well, we're going to go ahead and install that today. This is going to be a relatively short video. Um, I, unfortunately, I don't have a great deal of time today. We're getting ready to take the camper down to uh, Florida uh, from Pennsylvania, where it is currently stored. And um, we're making preparations, and we've only got a few days. It is July the 2nd, 2022, right now. And uh, we're going to, I think the 5th is when we're going to be hitting the road. As of now, that is our plan. Uh, that plans may change. We're not sure yet. Um, but anyway, I've got to install the new battery converter charger into the, uh, the uh, trailer. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. This is not going to be a step-by-step -step kind of video. I'm uh, just going to show you what I'm doing. So let's get started. All right, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things before we get started. So this is our currently our battery compartment. Uh, it used to house two lead cell batteries. Uh, it only has one right now. You can see the, um, the case here that's kind of still cracked open. Um, and uh, the, the vent here. We're going to do away with all that because we're not going to need it. Our battery cutoff is right here. Uh, control panel for basically the only thing it really functions with is the... Uh, Stable or the um, yeah the stabilizer slash auto levelers, but you can see how this is all wired up here. We got our our um, 120 amp uh, breaker right here, and then we got a wire that goes back there behind the wall. Uh, and there, actually, I had this off. There's a fuse behind here, um, and then these other wires over here go to our inverter, which is up there. We are going to keep everything today the way it is if we can. However, when I get back down, or when I get down to Florida finally, uh, and we are living in this, I'm going to redo all of this. I'm going to move that switch uh, probably up here to this wall that's in the inside. Let me open this door and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, I got the door open. Anyway, this wall right here is where we would probably mount the, the cutoff if I can do it, I don't know if I want to have a, a wire running from all the way over here to all the way over here. But the reason being is I was thinking about moving the batteries from here because there's not a whole lot of space in here. Um, and uh, this is plastic and it's not great. That is what, some of my fantastic engineering there with some tape to cover up this hole. Because underneath each one of these battery compartments, they have a drain in case it leaks uh i guess <laughs> i guess it would leak the lead or the water that has the acid in it and onto the ground i don't know but anyway this plastic is not very strong and uh if we wanted to add more batteries this is not the place to do it it would be either here or excuse me it would either be on the other side where we you know is storage we we store stuff over here um, or it would be back behind this wall. There's a lot of room back here. Uh, the converter charger is back there, and uh, there's a lot of floor space. Space. I will show you guys. Oh, by the way, did not shoot the video of this, but we now have our, our broom and our washer mounted on the, the wall back here. It's out of the way, kind of, sort of. Um, but you can see this is a lot of stuff packed into here. And I've got to get all this out of here so that I can start the work because I am going to have to take this wall down today to get to the converter charger to put the new one in. I wanted to show you guys before I got started, I put a towel over top of the uh, solar panel up here so it doesn't put any juice out. All right, I got everything out of here and I got all the screws out of this wall. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this wall to get to the back side of it. I figured I would start with the converter because I guess that's I guess it's gonna be the hardest part. Anyway, I just gotta get this wall out of here. I'm gonna need two hands to do it, and I'm alone today. So I will get back to you once I get this wall out of the camper. All right, so I got the wall off, and you can see the wall ran from right about there straight across to here. So there's the converter back there. There's our surge guard up here. And uh, yeah, I gotta get this thing out of here and the new one put in. It is pretty much an exact replacement. This is the WF9855. Um, and I think it's, gosh, I don't remember what the part number is, but it's very similar to that. Uh, so I've got to unplug it from the camper and then I've got to just take out these two battery wires and then the ground and that's it. And then pop the new one in. So this is the 98 WF9855-AD and this will allow it to charge automatically. It switches between lead acid batteries and lithium so it knows what kind of battery is connected. That one on the other hand only works with uh, lead acid and probably AGM batteries as well but I'm not 100% certain about that. But we don't have that so I don't care. But you can see I, I probably have enough room right through here. I could put a couple of batteries here probably fit I don't know five six batteries back here. Mm, I don't know. Let's take a peek. Okay, there's one of the batteries. I suppose that if I set them like this, yeah, I could probably fit right here several of them. Uh-oh, I see some some water leakage over there. Actually, it's antifreeze. Hmm, I have to take a look at that. Anyway, um, yeah, but they, like I said, I'm not putting the batteries here right now. Uh, they're going to go right there. And then I will reevaluate the situation. Well, look at all those wires. Definitely um, would like to make some changes here uh, over what is currently here. So, anyway, all right, I gotta get this thing off of here and then the new one put in. All right, the battery is disconnected. And I'm gonna use an Allen wrench to take these battery wires off. And if you're not aware, you can actually use these type of converters to charge a lithium iron phosphate battery. It just doesn't work completely. It brings it up to a certain voltage and then stops and so you'll never get a full charge out of the battery. So I'm gonna hold on to this and keep it as a spare, even though I think it had some issues with it. Um, but if anything ever happens to the other one, at least if we needed to in an emergency, we could charge uh, and, or use the converter or charge the batteries with it, at least to a certain point. She's out of there. That was pretty easy. Yeah, it looks like the screws all line up, so hopefully. Uh, actually, I don't think I'm going to need to draw any new holes or anything. So that is a bonus. Right. It's nice and secure. Now, the smart thing to do would have been to 
put that ground in first because it's in an awkward place. Now last night I used this uh, charger to charge up the two batteries independent of one another because you're supposed to get them up to the uh, proper voltage which uh, I believe is 13.6 volts. Both of them are equal so when we plug them in together and they charge together it will operate properly. Now this luck would have it I'm not going to be installing both batteries today so I may have to do this again in the future I just don't have the wire that I need to do what I want to do and instead of just kind of rigging it up I'm going to leave one battery disconnected for the moment and we're still going to have more power than we did previously with that lead cell because the lead cell was weak because um, it was old and it got discharged and we should be able to get most of that 100 amp out of it which is great all right those wires are nice and tight last thing to do is to plug it in like the other one was that is it all right i shot this off camera but anyway i got the battery disconnected and i'm just going to pull the battery out and then uh, get this battery holder out of here and then we'll put the new batteries in Don't need that anymore because lithium iron phosphate batteries do not outgas. This weighs a ton though. Quite a bit heavier than those new batteries. they put butyl tape down I have to clean this up wonderful all right guys there it is ground positive side super easy I, I had more trouble getting the butane tape off of the <laughs> the shelf in there they put butane tape to hold that box down. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna uh, see if this works. See if we have power. We have DC power. Excellent. All right, let's go take the towels off the top of the uh, solar panel. All right, so the last thing I gotta do is I gotta flip this from flooded to AGM because we don't have a lithium iron phosphate setting so AGM has the same charge profile or very similar to a uh, to a uh, lithium iron phosphate it is quite sunny today we're getting almost six amps off of that one panel up there I hope it's dropping now probably because we're getting near the uh, full charge of the battery 
or there's a cloud going over. Whew, it is hot out here. Man, <laughs> I'm wearing long pants too and it's, I'm sweating pretty good. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Once again, please be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to our channel. Also hit the like button. Please share this video with some of your friends. It helps with the algorithm, gets more views for our channel so that we can do more videos like this for you guys. We will give you an update in a couple of weeks, uh, months on how those new batteries are holding up and the whole setup. Um, but so far, everything looks good. It was very easy to switch things out. Um, oh, one more thing I wanna show you guys. As I was saying before, I wanna clean this all up at the very least. Um, this needs a bus bar for all this stuff, so there's no, not so many connections directly to the battery. There's the other battery. Um, need to jumper it uh, if I'm going to utilize the full potential of both of those batteries. Obviously, I'm not using any of the potential of this battery currently, but that's where it is going to live for now. These batteries are so much lighter than that thing. That is a godsend for me, picking it up. Um, I'm going to have to do something with this hole here, plug it up possibly get rid of that I don't know I should have had them not put this back in when they they work on the front of this after the accident with the deer I will leave a link in the description about that as well as a link in the description about the uh, unboxing of these batteries once again guys thanks for watching you all have an absolutely wonderful day take care